Hey, what's going on everybody? Mark here. Um, in the test today, we got a brand new update. I'm thinking that, to be honest with you, it's gonna probably just be some bug fixes, but I was seeing some rumors and some people posting about that it can see crosswalks or stopping at crosswalks, and I wanted to come check that out. So we're using uh, the auto steer anytime we can in order to uh, test this out here. Just saw that uh, guy on the side of the road sitting on the sidewalk. That is pretty neat because uh, on the previous versions, it hasn't really been uh, indicating or showing that up as well. And I noticed when I was just before I started this video, I was able to detect a bicyclist uh, a bit sooner than, than normal. All right, so one of the things that I noticed last night when I took it for a drive is that I saw that over the railroad tracks, I didn't get to go over them because I had to cut turn beforehand, is that it says it was slowing down for a traffic control device. Well, a traffic control device is anything, like a stop sign, a yield sign, and it can be any one of those number of things like that. Uh, but I noticed that it was said it was slowing down. It didn't get to do it again because I was coming to a turn, uh, but we're gonna test that out today. Now I'm hoping to see a couple more bicycles for you guys uh, and, and see that because in previous versions, it's been really difficult to spot bicyclists. And I've noticed that as the updates progress, there is a little bit more, um, I guess, I guess you would say identification of them. I noticed that the car slows down a little bit when it sees them on the side of the road. Now, after the previous update, when the stopping and slowing for traffic control devices occurred, I had, um, I had originally been kind of like, not aggravated with it, but it was kind of like a weird thing to get used to. Um, now I've gotten used to it. I'm actually using, when I come to a stop like this right here, I can see the red stop bar, um, but I can always hit the foot pedal and accelerate forward. But I've been finding myself using the stock up here just to tap that. So I'm trying to use the least wear and tear item. And I think ultimately what I'm gonna go through is, is literally just tapping the accelerator uh, because I don't wanna have this wear out where this can be replaced. And this down here on the floor is designed to be pressed continuously. Cones are still showing up as usual. All right, we're coming up to a railroad track here and a school zone. Let's see if anything comes up in, into this section on screen and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I got nothing. There's a person on the side of the road, nothing showing up. So I had to turn up here and this is where I saw that pop up right there. It just briefly popped up, sl uh, slowing for traffic control, slowing through. And now what it does is it's bringing the car down to like Oh, it's stopping this time. It said slowing before. That was weird. Very strange. We'll go through it again and see if uh, if the cars affected it. But yesterday it just said slowing. I think it was bouncing back and forth between slowing and stopping. And that's a railroad track back there. So let's turn around. We'll find out what happens uh, on the way back through. All right. So we have uh, auto steer on. Foots off the brake here and off the accelerator. And we're going to come up see what it says. Slowing through traffic control, use the accelerator to do that. Okay, so you probably saw on the screen what happened there. That was pretty good. Oh, now it's detecting like school zone slowings. So right there, that was a traffic control device. That was like a crosswalk essentially. And the car is actually slowing down for them. I, I imagine that's going to be useful when it comes down to, uh, you know, detecting pedestrians and see if there's pedestrians crossing through it. Let's get back on here. We're gonna go through this one more time. And then we're gonna go, go through our special spot that we always go through uh, when we do get an update to see if there's any changes in that 90 degree turn. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll try to link some of those in there. All right, slowing through traffic control device. You can see them all on the screen there. But in the meantime, let's talk about what occurred there at the railroad track. That was pretty awesome. I, I It slows down. It's not human-like, it's not natural, but it does slow down. So if you do have a high weird grade at a railroad track, it will come to a like a slowdown for you so that it's not just blasting through and over that uh, uh, that you know that crown or the crest in the road there. All right, so this is my favorite road. We're getting ready to turn on here, and it's just basically a 90 degree turn. So if you haven't seen those, we'll look at it on the map here. Uh, we're going to be turning here and try and navigate around that 90 degree turn. I'm going to see if it made any difference this new update. I test it on every single one just to see if there's any code written in the, you know, in the system there to navigate around those. All right, there we go. So I normally do this at 20 miles an hour. And on this pass here, what generally happens is that the car goes to the very far outside lane. So I'm gonna make sure I hold it. 
Yeah, see it cut over before that car even came through. Can't do that. So, not on that pass. We're going to go back through the other way and determine what occurs there. Uh, on that one, it swings really close inside and then cuts outside. So this 90 degree turn on the first pass is, is still not working as uh, as good as it normally would there. All right, so make this U-turn. All right, so we're gonna do this one here. Uh, the suggested is saying 15. I've always tried it at 20. And when I say suggested, the speed limit's 35 on the road. However, the um, the cautionary sign here, orange sign is a cautionary sign. It's, it gives you the, uh, the ideal speed for this. So we're doing it five miles an hour over uh, because it, it seems more than reasonable. I can take this turn at, at 35 and, and be pretty good on it. So it's starting to, to anticipate this turn here and it cuts it in right there. Yep, you'll feel a dip and then we swing out and over. Does it correct itself though? It does at 20 miles an hour for that i mean that's the same result that it has so we're not going to go back through it the next thing we're going to check in this one here is barricades you might have seen in some of my other videos that the tesla stopped for some barricades that were blocking the road there and i'm going to try it again i want to see if there's any improvements and updates in that all right so we're going to see if we can get on autopilot here i don't think i'm going to but uh, we're going to get on at least the cruise and we're going to just do 20 again at this we have a whole set of cones and barriers We'll see if it'll stop ahead of time for it. Nope. It will not. As you can see right there, I probably would have gone another foot, but now it can't detect that there, so we're still in forward. Well, that one's that. I'll try it again, just for the, you know, the fun of it. And see. Nothing. Not even a warning, though. That's what's weird about it. So, all right, we're going to skip that one. That one is not working there as it did in the past. I think the barricades have to be large enough and with, you know, enough surface area that it kind of feels like a vehicle or a truck. And that's probably what happened. I remember in the last video, it, it seemed like it popped up as a vehicle uh, prior to um, uh, coming to a stop there. So if you're watching this video, we're trying to figure out if you have hardware 2.5 or 3 still, uh, there's a couple ways that you can do it. The, the easiest and the only one we're going to really talk about today is just going in your menu here. You're going to go into the car icon there, and then you're going to go down to software, and then additional vehicle information, and you're going to see that it's going to show full self-driving computer. If you see that, then in fact you have the hardware 3.0. Uh, if you don't see that, then you don't have it. And we'll jump back out of that. And some of the other ways that you can tell if you have hardware three is if you go into your autopilot and then you come in here to this section where autopilot is, you'll have the full self-driving visualization preview in there if you have hardware 3.0. If you have hardware 2.5 and you have cones only and you don't have the stop signs or the traffic lights or that right there, then you have hardware 2.5 or earlier. If you're on a Model 3, it's gonna be always 2.5 or three. I think some of the Model S's have the older one. In fact, we have a Model S in front of us over here with uh, the P85, uh, looks like over there. So, and that one has the older hardware in it, I would imagine, you know, unless they got an upgrade or upgraded the, the MCU, I think it is. I don't know about that. Don't quote me. So, the next thing we're going to check out here is we're going to go through and see if we can get some preview visualizations on some bicyclists. That has been the one that I've struggled with a lot. Oh, look at him go. Wow. That car gone. Now, if you don't have this update and you were thinking about, wow, I can't wait to get this. If you live in a heavy, heavily populated area, I don't know that the traffic control uh, and traffic and light and stop sign control is going to benefit you uh, because right now, like in our area, sometimes the traffic lights are are, there's no traffic at them, but if you're in an area where you have lots of traffic, your car is just going to follow the leader. So you may not like that. Um, one of the things that's 
that can be done while you're driving is if you are driving your car and say you're like oh my gosh this road's driving me nuts you can cancel your auto steer and your your cruise control and your autopilot and you can come over here and turn those off and then it's easy to turn it off but once you get it into the off position you gotta actually come to a full park position and shut you know stuff start it again that's the only way you're gonna be able to get it back but if you do get into an area where the where the traffic lights are really annoying and there's tons of traffic lights and no traffic and you can see that they're kind of all green hop in there and literally turn it off just like that so all right let's get this back on I want to put it back on because I enjoy it I like it and we get the warning again and we'll start our drive all right so we got a weird road right here it's a split from left to right we got some barricades or some things in front of us let's see how autopilot handles it I on it it's got the post in front of us I got no cars behind us here it's showing there's a turn lane but can it recognize these posts so it told us to take over immediately and we're right there on top of that one I'm talking about inches like literal inches from that cone right there so it didn't effectively stop for that one. You know, I wish it would have, uh, but it did give me that warning to take over immediately. Those are soft cones. They would, uh, you know, essentially fold over, but they would probably leave a mark on the car. All right, so we're back on, on auto steer autopilot here and we're going around into a little turn here and then another stop sign. A little bit of a jerk here and on this one it splits into two lanes here again so we're gonna see which way it likes to take there's a traffic control device right here am I gonna miss it wow that was close it missed it though ah oh, very nice all right so we've got an area here this has a lot of like pedestrians in it we'll see if we can pick them up sooner than normal nothing on that one just yet oh there he goes all right cool now we put on autopilot. We're going to go around this circle here a few times and see if we can't get uh, the car to find something. See if it'll find something. But it does these turns really well. Here's a stop crosswalk. Let's see if it... No, no slow down there. I really think in that previous one, it just it detected the crosswalk uh, as a stop bar, like for a traffic light, and that's that's probably what happened. Wow, we could get into an infinite loop around this place here and never get out of here because autopilot's going to go around in this circle over and over and over again. A little slow down there for that crosswalk. Saying it's going to stop for a traffic control device in just a few feet, but then it went away. I missed that. What did that say? Stopping for something. All right, shows another crossbar up there. Nothing there, though. All right, we have a pedestrian crossing here. See if it slows down. Pedestrian detected. Slows down. Wow. That was that was pretty awesome. It's not done that before. Maybe you guys have had that experience with it, but I haven't had that happen before. And it it it, it slowed down for me. It, it was it detected the pedestrian, slowed down, and then proceeded as the route was clear there. All right. Now, if you have a Tesla yourself, you'll know that a lot of the times that doesn't happen. Oh, we got a bicyclist. Let's see what happens here. Bicyclist. It's de it is detecting them so much better. It slowed down, it hit the brakes, flashed him his red, alerted it, he got off the road and it picked back up. Dude, I'm stoked for this. This is so helpful when it comes down to like, even needing just an extra pair of eyes on the road, this, is good. this would be really good when you come up to areas where there's bicyclists, there's pedestrians, and it's just another set of eyes on the road while you're watching. So I didn't do a rigorous test with this, but when there are bicycles on the side of the road, we've all been there. We've come across them and they're like, is the car going to recognize it? Is the car going to do anything? Ultimately, you want the car to slow down and move over, uh, but you know, for right now, detecting them like it just did is, is better than anything that I've seen on it. So. Okay, so here we go. We're coming up here. This is where it gave a notice last time. And that's pretty much it. Didn't do one there. Applying slight turning wheel. Well, I'm starting to feel like NASCAR going in reverse here, so I'm going to head out of this. Wow, that's pretty good. 
All right, we're all finished up for the day. I hope you appreciate these videos. Check the other ones. We're putting up three this week. Uh, should be three. And I have another one that's coming out for you guys that has to do with geolocation on your dash cam. So if you want to check that out, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.